Hi, I'm Mark Straczynski, General Director of West Edge Opera, and I wanted to take a minute to tell you a little bit about what we're doing this year. We're going to compact our entire main stage production season into three weeks in the summertime, July 26th through August 10th. We'll, pre we'll present three different operas all at the same time in rep. This means that you can see all three operas in one weekend, or you can see them on consecutive Saturdays or Sundays. And the three operas we're going to be doing, we're going to start off with La Boheme, but not your normal La Boheme. It's going to be a La Boheme that will be different than anything you've ever seen before. We're working on a production that we call immersive. That means that the production takes place within the audience, around the audience, and oh, you never know, perhaps some of the audience might become involved with the show. The next production is Philip Glass's piece called Hydrogen Jukebox. This is an opera that he wrote with Allen Ginsberg, the famous beat poet, uh, author of the poem Howl. And the two of them got together and wrote a very interesting piece, which is sort of a comment on American culture. It was written in 1988, but the text comes from many years of Ginsberg's work. The third opera we'll be doing is Jake Hagee's The End of the Affair. Jake Hagee is a composer, very hot composer right now. His operas Moby Dick and Dead Man Walking have been done all over the country, as well as here in the San Francisco Bay Area. But his opera The End of the Affair has never been done here, and we're very excited to present the Bay Area premiere. The End of the Affair is an opera based on Graham Greene's novel, one of his three novels in which he explored his own faith and his Catholicism. It's the story of a woman who makes a promise that she then must keep and um, it's all about her struggle to keep that promise. It's a very interesting piece, and we're very excited to do the Bay Area premiere. This year we'll be presenting our entire season in what we call an alternative space venue. Not a theater, it's a facility that was built by a group of organizations in Berkeley that are dedicated to um, services for persons with disabilities, anchored by the well-known organization, the Center for Independent Living, which has been in Berkeley for many years. The Ed Roberts campus is a beautiful piece of architecture created um, in the style of universal architecture, which means that anyone and everyone can use the facility. This season will, will take place in the atrium of the Ed Roberts campus, and it's a big wide open space, and I think it'll be really interesting to see all three operas there. The place couldn't be easier to get to. It's situated literally on top of the Ashby BART station, and there's ample parking behind. We hope you'll join us at the Ed Roberts campus for three very interesting operas that we will present this year from July 26th through August 10th. See you there.